today we're going to paint some rocks outside. I got some little ideas that I've, that I've already written down. What I'm going to do today. With. So I just found a place right here where I live. Instead of going to the park, I just thought I'd stay on this table here. Um, live, love, and laugh. You are loved. So these are all different sayings that I wrote that I want to do. And these are some of the art that I wrote down that I'm going to do. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll just start with that. Um, and I have to get all the colors out. Let's do a dragon flower. Well, let's pick the rock first. Let's pick the rock. So I got some rocks here that I've already got, like the base paint. This one's pretty cool. It was like sponged. And on the other side is nothing yet. But it's a nice smooth rock to do some painting on. I got some other ones here that I've already coated in. Crickets. This kind of looks like a seed, you know, like an avocado seed. Got my triangle. Okay, so we got the dragonfly. I could do dragonfly. Bread. I kind of went back, and then I brought these cards out with me. I'm going to use some of the beautiful things on these cards. Oh, there's a there's a bug. Beetle oh, just went by. And this is some of my paint that the dollar store here got, and I'm going to try it out. I'm going to keep working with that. I had to go and get myself a tea maze. So yeah, we got some rose colors. Ooh, I had to bring some of my big color, my bright yellow. I mean my bright orange. Just a bag from that. Oh yeah, I got some relishes here. I don't know if animals like them, but well, hopefully some wild animals like them. Because I didn't. We kind of went. I don't eat a lot of relishes. And I got some the other day. And then they kind of went like kind of wilty, whatever. But I don't like to throw them. Oh, there's a squirrel. The squirrel got a peanut because they have people that uh, peanuts here for them, and then they got like birds, a bird feeder. Over there. Let's see. Let's see what I got a bunch of rocks here in this bag. I got a nice big rock that I can paint something. I brought a couple of different sizes of all different sizes of rocks I brought out with me. So I can have a choice and I got the ones. They're good for like certain things. Let's dump them all out in here. So even if people stay home, this is something you can do with your family and stuff, you know, with your kids. So I'm going to probably do a dragonfly. So let's find a rock. Do a dragonfly. I washed all these rocks already. Let's do the dragonfly on there. Uh, maybe not. I want to do a dragonfly. Sun. I don't know how well I feel on the sun. Or little bee and it says happy. Or I could do the little people. Little little people. Little give her a rock. I got some tiny rocks. I could do astrology. Alright, maybe you should just paint some chakras. I like your chakras. So here's my uh get one of these. Um, they have them at dollar stores or craft stores. Um, these are little ice cream trays, but they work really good because they're rubber. So let's start with... I was wanting to do, kind of before I came outside, I was wanting to do the chocolate mm -hmm. tiny rocks too. Really, really tiny ones. For little things like bugs and if you want to do like bugs or ladybugs or 
little bees or and then put them in with like your plants. They look pretty like doing that. Oh, that's the big one. It's beautiful. Like last night we had a good storm last night. So what's a good rock to do to hearts? Base paint on this one. It's decisions, decisions. Or even this one. This one. All right, let's do some. I like doing raw like, hearts, so. All right, I'm back. So I've decided to do the other heart. I'm gonna do this one, the bottom one, <clears throat> and then all the little around is like the different chakras and then I'm going to do on the top it's going to be like God and then all the chakras right so yeah so I'm going to do the little heart in the middle start with the heart and I don't have like proper setup yet so you guys can see when it's close up I wish I'll show you when I, when I got the Gotta leave room for the, the wigglies around it. Alright, so we got the heart. And then I'm gonna put a god on the top here. God is our creator. Or I should put creator. Creator is God. But I'll just put creator on this rock. Creator. Should have maybe start okay. I gotta start over because I gotta move it over so it's even. Gotta do that. So if you made a mistake, Reese. That's why I use a pencil to pre-mark it. So it does come off. You need it to come off and then the paint will cover that. Alright, start again. We'll start more of the end. And then, so we got that, creator, so then, just fix the heart a little bit. You paint the heart whatever color you want, and then you got all the chakras going all the way around. So, you just kind of go wiggle, wiggle all the way around and that's the chakra so you need seven wiggles like okay, so do, 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 do. like you know what I mean all right so we're gonna start over here I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna mark them a little bit So we got uh, seven marked there, so I just go all the way around. So from the middle here, we go and go. From the middle here, I just go up. I'll show you in a minute what I did. So that's what you do right there. And you can do whatever you want, but that's what I'm doing is right something like that. It's kind of like on there. But. So then you go to the next one and you just make it 
that on. And then once you once you do that, you pick out like what the chakra colors are, and you can look it up on Google what chakra colors are and what order they're in. Just going all the way around doing that. bigger on the one side but that's okay. Now we're gonna get a painting. Painting it. Okay. So oops, I'm gonna drop some So I got this mat here. I can't really show you but got this mat here and I got one of those drippy mat things. I'm gonna move some of my rocks I have them here. So I got all my brushes here too. I got everything. I got my brushes. I didn't bring water. I didn't bring a napkin here. And I got something to wipe on. <clears throat> People next door have got corn for sale. If anybody looking for corn. So we're, all the chakras are. So we got. So we got the root chakra. It can be red. It can be brown or black. So we're gonna do. chakra we're gonna do it red we're going to use uh, we got Christmas red and then we got the deep red I'm gonna use deep red <clears throat> we're gonna use deep red for the ground chakra and then we got the orange orange is next on the chakras orange you know sacral chakra um, then we got yellow so yellows, I got a couple of different yellows here. I got that really bright yellow, this one here. I might mix them. And then I got um, sun sun yellow. I like this sun yellow. Maybe mix a little bit with the sun yellow. And then I got daffodil yellow. So we're gonna mix two of those. Oh, I got some orange. I'm gonna mix these two oranges so that they are a little brighter. And then the next color is your heart. So yeah, green. Green is your heart chakra. Your heart chakra can also be pink, um, but it's mostly green, I think. So I'm gonna mix these two greens. And uh, the next chakra would be blue. Blue. So that's your third eye. No, that's your throat chakra. And then we got your third eye chakra. We got. Uh, we're gonna use this uh, fuchsia. So you like a pinkish purple, light purplish, and then for the crown chakra, we got. You can either use white or you can use. Uh, um, you can use purple. So we're gonna use purple, and that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chakras. There we go. There's the chakra colors. Or if you want to, you can make the um, third eye chakra can also be uh, a turquoise or sapphire blue. Sapphire blue for that. But we're going to use pink. Alright, so that's what we're going to do today. And I got another, I might add a little bit of this. Um, this pink to the red to make it a little bit more brighter. So let's get mixing. I'm gonna start with the we're gonna start with the root chakra. So we're gonna start with the red and pink. So I'm gonna move all these away in the order that they're supposed to be. These ones over here. So I'm gonna do the, I'm not gonna dig get a bunch of paint out and then not do, and then I'll have too much paint, so I'm gonna start with the one. And then um, for, oh, for like the creator, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, actually should do that first. Yeah, we'll do that first. For the creator, I'm going to use, uh, 
I'm going to use this turquoise. It's like a turquoise. This is Divine Colors. So this one here is called Divine Pond. And this one here is Divine Bonsai. Oh, I'm going to do the Bonsai for Divine Color. For the Divine. Alright, so let's get a little bit in this tray. Now, I don't know how long, like how much memory my mine has, but this is like really turquoise. I might add a little white to it too. So I'm just going to use this brush. It's kind of hard, so I'm just going to use a little bit of that to just put it in here. We don't need a lot for the letters, and I'm going to add a little bit of white because I don't want it to be that dark. I like it off a little bit. There's a squirrel I can hear. It's coming down the tree. Hi, squirrel! A little bit of white. I got this white here. I'm gonna put a little white in there. Looks like got a, a film over it, a paint film. that's already hardened they work the best for writing so I make this one here it's just hardened and it works better could have used this one too this one would have been a nice one I brought some cookies out with me. I haven't eaten anything. I had a cookie this morning. I've had coffee. I've got one sitting here. I like to... Uh, It's relaxing if you find a good place to do it. It's so hard though to take, like, carry all your rocks around everywhere. I did, um, I'm going to add some of these videos together from the ones I've done before. I, I've done some other rocks that I've started and then I finished them and uh, so I'll show the finished product already. I did some on camera and then some off. gonna go to the park but then I thought I would just stay here and go 
got my coffee and then stayed here. Try not to get them all like too close together. Because you don't want them to... I might have to go over with another color. It might not show up as bright because it's... It's that like... Pond green. But I did add some white, so... And if you want like small, small letters, you can use a toothpick. It works too. But I got the smallest brush you can get on this, what I'm doing, and sometimes the brushes don't work the best. Sometimes Q-tips, I mean, um, they might even work if you take the Q-tip part off. But yeah, toothpicks or like the ends when you're, when you're burning an incense, the ends of that, like, you know, those are perfect little sticks for that. I don't think I have any with me here right now. Yeah, it's a relaxing Sunday today. Just relaxing. Loving myself. You say love yourself first, right? Okay, that's what I'm doing. Showing myself the love that I would I like to show others. Doing something for me. This makes me feel good, like doing rocks, painting rocks, picking rocks. I would like to meet other rock pickers <laughs> in Ontario. That'd be cool. I'd like to find more like YouTubers in Canada too. So I got Creator is done. Creator is done. And now we're gonna. Um, I have so much color left over, so what I'm going to do is the other side of this rock, I'm going to use this for the other side of this rock. So I'm going to use this brush. That's how I did on this side too. Just dab it. brush wasn't wet. And one side's pink, one side is green. My dog is going by. Look at that. Pretty, right? So I let that dry and now I used up all the green. Make sure we get all the corners. Okay, let that dry, and I need to get some water. But uh, now we're gonna, oh no! That's okay, I didn't mess it up too bad. So now, but if you leave that just like that, it'll come out once it's dry. But these, um, when, if they get hard, it's okay. I have used that one before. So okay, let's get to the colors. Okay, so we're starting with the root color, root chakra. Today's a beautiful day. After that rain last night, beautiful. Well, we're not going to need that much of red. So we're just going to use a little bit. Just mix it up. Just like a drop of the pink. Oh, they did a little squirrel. I'm going to have to find it over to the little squirrel yet. So, 
Okay, it makes it a little bit more, I don't know, like pinkish red. Okay, so we're going to use my big brush. No, we're not, because we're just using a little area. So we're just going to use, what I'm going to do is use the end of the brush, this end of the brush, and just dip it in, what you do. So we're going to start on this side, that little area right there. Oh, there's a cool car going by, look. Cool car, cool car. Cool car. Yeah, I think there's like a car show right now though, going on somewhere. So we're just gonna dab, dab, dab into the old, the old corners and just paint that in there. And we'll do the heart last. We'll do the inside of the heart last. Kind of looks like a rooster's, um, whatever the thing is, their, their comb. <laughs> My design kind of looks like a rooster's comb. And then you can outline the heart too with black or white and that'll really make it stand out a lot more too. And the paint that you have left over you can like paint little tiny rocks where you want them to be a certain color. <clears throat> so next color, we got the reds done. And the next color will be orange. Just gonna mix the orange. Mix the orange. I just gotta do less. Less is best. We don't need a lot. Bright orange. I did like two little drops. We're gonna do one little drop of this because we just need a tiny little bit. We don't need that much. Now we're gonna do one. Hey, little squirrely, you want to come say hi? Yeah, the sun is under, it's done, the sun's gone. Just filling in the little bubbles here. This is, I'm doing this to share my creation so you can all, everybody can get creative with their kids and stuff or whatever. Love yourself like you would love, you know, love your inner child. Love yourself like your inner child. Alright, so there's that one. Now we're gonna, I'm just using this paper here to wipe off. That squirrel is enjoying my company and me conversating. All right, the next one is yellow, 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 yellow. We're gonna use these two yellows and we're gonna do the same, just mix a tiny bit. I don't know how much my phone will record. Oh, that is a lot. It's very bright, but with the, with this, with the, those br with the bright yellow, I like to mix the yellow because the fluorescent is hard to, it's very translucent. Translucent? So you can mix it, mix, makes it brighter. Makes it better. Makes it stay, you know, not having to do mini coats on it. It's beautiful out there. I got my sunglasses on my head. I haven't had to use them or else I'm going to be able to see cars. Yeah. Um, next one's yellow. Whoever watches this video, you can try some of this stuff. You know, you can do your own designs, do whatever, whatever you want, however you want to do it. Mine is just ideas. You know, I'm just giving y'all ideas. I hope you do the same. Alright, 
So yeah, this is how you can start painting the world, you know. Now, now we're going to do the heart chakra. And chakra. We're going to do the same, just a little drop each. Drop. Maybe too much of a drop, but we'll just use that to paint other little rocks. A certain color. We'll have a bunch of chakra, little tiny individual rocks or something. Little bugs like to be out here too. Little bugs. Heart chakra. It's supposed to be like emerald color. Heart chakra is for me. For Gemini's hearts. I should have pointed my camera to film, but that's okay. You know, if people go by, you can't see, see, see them that clearly anyway. Alright, that one's done. Okay, now the heart is done. Now we're going to do third eye. Third eye, we're just going to use this blue. Just gonna use that blue. So if you need to, you can pause the video. I'll show you after every one I do, so it's hard to... I need a better quick camera equipment so it'd be light right on while I was doing it. <clears throat> the next one is pink. Lots of corn over there. I'm going to have to go buy some corn so we have some corn on the cup right next door. Right next door, corn on the cup. Our families are all out. Yeah. On bikes and walking and with their dogs and all that. All right, now we're gonna do pink. <clears throat> now we're gonna do purple. Pink, and then the heart. I'm not sure what color. Do the heart. You guys gave me some mental ideas. There you go. Yeah. Telepathic. If I picked any colors that you go, you guys want to pick, let me know in the comments. It's getting dark out here. It's getting darker out here, and I'm not even wearing sunglasses. So there's the pink. Isn't that gonna be pretty hard, right? I'm gonna have to highlight the uh, tur the turquoise color there. So now we're gonna wipe that one off. We're gonna use the last but not least, purple. And then we're gonna, I don't know, mix it all together. No, <laughs> I was gonna say mix it all together. Woo! And the paint does come off because this is acrylic. And you have to like, take some of them off. Oh, they're too far. It's okay. It's too far. I can't see who they are. I caught some people in the camera today. I know I did. Oh uh, well. Hmm. Universe works in mysterious ways. Yeah, isn't that pity? Now the inside, I don't know, and then the top. I need to change the color on the top. I need to make it like brighter. I don't find it to be very bright. Maybe an outline. Maybe dot on something. I don't know. Maybe dot on a color I didn't do. 
Maybe the frosting, frosting pink. This one. This one. We'll add that one to this pink and then we'll dot, dot, dot all over it and then we'll use that for the heart. Mixing them together. There we go. Oh, well, I'm gonna wipe it off from the purple. busy street today. Mix those two colors together and then just I'm just gonna dot so that they appear more, more brighter. Or should I do should I do blue? No, I'll just do that. Uh, maybe that's too thick. Maybe I should use some smaller. Something more pointier. I don't want to be big dots. I want to be small. So use a skinny end brush. Skinny end brush. Or you could use a pencil too. That's why this pencil has all the paint on it. You can use a pencil. That's what I'm going to do. Use this pencil. I'm going to dot it. We're going to dot these letters. Smearing, so I'm gonna do it upside down. That's what it'll look like, and then they'll show up more. Not even a dot, it turned into like a letter over it. Oh well. Well, I guess it doesn't, it wants to turn into letters, like where it's, they all join. Might as well just connect the dots. Sometimes your art creates itself. You know, you have one idea what you're wanting to do and it turns into something totally different than what you decided in the first place. But